Hey, Jim Hoffman here for the Microwave Medic, and today's tips are about IV inf infiltration, and these are some uh, uh, excerpts here from a EMS blog, Ontario Medic, and he talked a lot about uh, intravenous principles, and I thought it would be good to pull out some of these uh, little tips here on infiltration in particular. You know, a lot of times it's not always preventable when you talk about infiltration of an IV. Think about it. You know, catheters can puncture the vein wall or pull out of the vessel simply with patient movement. And obtaining a blood return does not always guarantee correct placement of the catheter within the vein as well. You know, IV catheters that get inserted into a small vein or into a dehydrated patient may prevent return of blood by conventional methods. You know, things like pulling uh, back on a syringe, dropping the bag below the level of the heart, or pinching the IV tubing. And also, think about poor circulating blood volume a patient may have. That might not allow for blood return if the blood pressure is too low, even when the catheter is in the vein. Routinely assessing for infiltration by noting skin temperature and by looking for swelling around the IV site will also prevent large infiltrations from occurring. You know, procedures for securing catheters need to provide you with clear visibility of the access site and also allow for monitoring of any of these IV complications. Remember, Always reassess your patient and the IV site for changes and discontinue the IV therapy if infiltration occurs. Document appropriately and always follow your local guidelines. Guys, you want to get the complete article on this and even some more IV tips, visit the link below over at Ontario Medic and uh, check out his article there. Better yet, join me for the online webinar, IV Complications in EMS. This can really help build your IV access knowledge and comfort level. Just click here for complete details on accessing this webinar. Okay, I hope you can use these tips nice and quick, right? Uh, you have some more tips, some ideas on your own, send them over to me. My email is jhoff at emsseo.com. Until next week, as always, guys, Jim Hoffman for The Microwave Medic. Stay safe.